Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, the movie lover here. Welcome back to another movie review. Sorry that it's been a while since I've done uh, regular movie reviews, um, like uh, you know films that came out a few years ago. I'm mainly I've been doing after I saw videos and uh, movie reviews of recent films that came out last year that I didn't get to see. But anyways, let's get back to another movie review. Skyfall 007. And, uh, Skyfall, um, I did watch this film one time, I never got to finish it because of an instant incident that happened, which I'm not going to get into. Now, in Skyfall, Bond's loyalty to M is tested as her past comes back to haunt her. As MI6 comes under attack, 007 must track down and destroy the threat, no matter how personal the cost. And that's the main plot of the movie now. James Bond, when this came out, um, it was 50 years since, you know, James Bond hit the big screen, which was 1962. I forgot what, his, what the first uh, James Bond movie was. I think it might have been Goldfinger. I could be wrong. I'm going to have to look up. But You see, there are so many James Bond movies that it's too, there's too many to name them all. Like, it has become one of the most popular and most um, long-running movie franchises of all time. Just like how The Simpsons is the longest-running cartoon of all time. And um, the last movie uh, was Spectre, which I haven't gotten around to seeing. Um, one thing I love about the movie is the way that it opens up. There's just action sequences, and one on a train, and then James Bond just, you know, just falls into the water, and you've got this amazing score called Skyfall, the song Skyfall, um, during the opening credit sequence. It just, it's probably one of the best, um, opening credits to the James Bond mo movie franchise, uh, since Casino Royale. I thought Casino Royale had amazing opening credit sequence. And funny thing, Skyfall, the song, was actually the first James Bond thing to ever win the Oscar for Best Original Song. I could definitely say it was well-deserved. This is definitely a very fantastic approach for the James Bond series. This is a, this has some of the best-looking sets for the, for the James Bond series, how, you know, it takes place in London, and, you know, Daniel Craig, once again, kicks ass as James Bond, as well as its action. Now, there isn't a whole lot, now, there is some action to this movie that, and this is known to be one of the best um, action films of modern time, of the 21st century. And um, I can definitely say, without a doubt, this is one of the best action movies of this decade. And it definitely falls um, for more than just, you know, plain old action. Um, it, it follows a lot more character detail in, um, like, how a James Bond movie should. And it definitely um, brings it out very well. Skyfall does an amazing job at bringing back a James Bond since I think uh, when this came out I think the last James Bond film was Casino Royale um, this is definitely I'm not sure if I would say it's as good or better than Casino Royale but it is an amazing movie I will be watching more of the James Bond movies soon and um, I really want to check out Goldfinger as well and uh, Live and Let Die and uh, GoldenEye 007 not the N64 game. <laughs> yeah, every time I say GoldenEye 007, I think of the N64 game. But no, it's based off a movie. Gotta but anyways, overall, I'm going to give Skyfall a 5 out of 5. This is an amazing movie. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.